digital TV. This is NBC 12, your first coast news at 11 with Donna Hicken, Alan Janae, Dan Hicken Sports, and Tim Deegan with your first coast weather. It seems every time you turn around, newer, faster electronics are hitting the market. And every five or ten minutes. So what do you do with your old gadgets when you upgrade? Just throw them out? Well, that is a problem because those computer gadgets that make our lives better are also polluting the environment. First Coast News anchor Mark Spain introduces us to PC pollution and shows you how to stop it. These are some of today's top-of-the-line personal computers. Faster. Fancier and cheaper, but today's technological marvels quickly become tomorrow's trash. So if it's set out with your trash, it's picked up, and chances are it's hauled to the landfill. This is Trail Ridge Landfill in Baldwin. We're doing about 3,000 tons a day of uh, municipal solid waste. The National Safety Council's Environmental Health Center estimates that 315 million computers will be obsolete within three years. Many of them will end up buried in the earth. The less waste that you put in the landfill, certainly the longer they're going to last. And as a whole, we need to recycle and, and reuse the products that, that we generate. Environmentalists are concerned about what's in those relics. There are toxic substances in computer components like lead and mercury, which can contaminate soils and threaten groundwater. One solution? Recycle that digital dud. Right now, only about 11% of computers are recycled, and few places even do it. In Jacksonville, we found a place that will not only take your laughing stock of a system, but pay you for it as well. What we do here is we take in computers, keyboards, low end scrap, we sort it, separate it. You know what I'm talking about. At Jack's Recycling and Salvage Company, old computers can bring newfound wealth. Even if your monitor quit working, uh, rather than throwing it away, I'm still going to pay you a couple bucks for it. All right, that's good. We got it, Al. Thank you. Computers come in by the cratefuls, and the ones in good working condition are put back into circulation. These go over to the PCs over there. Some of the third world countries we ship them to don't care that it's a 386 because they don't have any over there. From yeah, garbage to resurrected gigabytes. Hard drive, floppies, memory. Back to work or back to school. I recycle the old computers and put in new parts and make them work. Here at the Teacher Supply Depot. We can make it 50, we make it 20. Uh, this last batch we got 89. Seasoned PCs donated by companies and individuals help teachers and students. Whatever we get, we take and try to turn around and make it something that'll be usable either in the classroom or for some of our students who don't have computers at home. A dense sea of wires and electronic wizardry, cast away by others, suddenly updated and useful again. So there is life after death, even for PCs once labeled DOA. So you're being environmentally smart and you're helping our students in our public schools. Not bad. Most computer monitors can contain three to six pounds of lead, a hazardous material that should not go into a landfill. Here are a couple of websites where you can go for more information about recycling your old computer. One will take you to Jack's Recycling here in town. They buy old computers. That web address is epaapproved.com. The other is electronicexchange.org. The National Safety Council also provides a list of organiza organizations that recycle computers. My wife is going to be very happy to hear this because I've had two computers sitting on the dining room table now for like... The dining room table? Yeah, well... She's an understanding. I'd say I wouldn't admit that publicly, but I just did yeah, for about two months. Well, now you know what to do and you can get some money for yeah, them, too. Okay. All right. Yeah, now you've just told my wife, so I know what I'm going to have to do this weekend. Well, now she can get you a nice Valentine's Day present, well, right? Maybe. We'll see. Well, there are a number of charitable agencies also that will gladly take many of your old computers. One is the Duval County Teacher Supply Depot. You can call them to find out if your old model is on its list of recyclables.